Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 18 of Isaiah chapter 30. Therefore, the Lord longs to be gracious to you, and therefore He waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for Him! For you people in Zion, inhabitant in Jerusalem, you will weep no longer. He will certainly be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When He hears it, He will answer you. Although the Lord has given you bread of deprivation and water of oppression, He, your teacher, will no longer hide Himself, but your eyes will see your teacher. Your ears will hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right or to the left. The Bible is God's Word. So does He still want to communicate with us personally? The answer is yes, and there are several reasons why. First, His guidance is a necessity for our lives. In Scripture, we see the Lord giving specific directions to His servants, and those of us who are believers often forget that we too need His instructions. Second, we rely on the Lord's power just as much as the Israelites. We all have Red Sea experiences when we don't know where to turn. But just as the Lord parted the waters for Israel, He will act in our lives too. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, He wants us to have an intimate relationship with Him. The Heavenly Father loves us just as much as He loved His children in biblical times. And He desires fellowship and honest communication with today's believers, just as He did with people like Abraham and Moses. So our priority should be to know Him, and once we do, to continually know Him better and better. A connection with God is not intended to be a one-way street. There must be a continual flow of back-and-forth communication, and that means we don't do all the talking. We will get to know our Heavenly Father more intimately when we learn to sense Him speaking to our spirit. 